Skaters, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today we're going to be doing backward cross strokes. Now I did do forward cross stroke. I'll post a link down to that below in the description so you can find it as well as a link to my Patreon so you can have access to even more instructional content that I have going up there every single week. But today we're going to be focusing on backward cross strokes. Now these are a beautiful move that are actually a little bit tricky. So we're going to go over them in some detail. Before you do backward cross strokes, you wanna be able to do some good, strong backward edges, good, strong backward crossovers. So I will post links to those two tutorials down below as well, so you can brush up on them and be ready for this one. But if you know how to do those, let's get started with some backward cross strokes. So the first thing we're gonna do with these is actually just practice stepping behind. We're gonna be stepping behind into a T position. So I'm gonna be starting with my weight on my right foot on my outside edge. So cross strokes are done on the outside edges. Often people will slip onto those inside edges and kind of cheat them and we don't wanna be doing that. No cheating out on the ice, okay? So we wanna be outside edges. So I have my weight on my right outside edge kind of towards the back, towards the heel. I'm gonna take my left foot and step on my outside edge behind me in a T, okay? And we're just gonna practice stepping behind, stepping behind, stepping behind. It's really awkward. Uh, but this is basically the step, okay? So I'm in a T position. You can see my toe is pointing at the center of my foot, okay? so. A, a sort of a forward T, the reverse of a T stop. I'm gonna put my weight on my right foot, which is behind, I'm gonna bring my left foot around into a T. Now my weight goes onto my left foot, I'm gonna bring my right foot around, step into a T. Now if you need to, some help with balance, just put your hand on the wall, you can do it around the rink. But we're gonna keep our core strong, hands out, shifting our weight from one foot to the other, and stepping backward into T's every time. So as you practice that step behind, make sure your knees are really nice and bent and your core is engaged. You do not want those hips popping out. That way, if you do that, you're gonna be disengaging those quads and your abs are gonna be soft. So you wanna keep those hips underneath you, bend your knees like you're in ballet class, squeeze your belly button back towards your spine so that you are nice and stable on top. Okay, so each step you should be thinking about stepping into third position, pretend we these aren't ballet hands, these are figure skating hands, but ballet knees, okay? So we're stepping into third position behind ourselves each time with those nice bent knees, engaged core, and hips underneath. Okay, once you practice that a bit, it's time to practice a push in a T position. And I want you to practice this before you even think about doing it as a cross step. So just practicing the pushing motion. So you're gonna put one foot behind the other, so I'm gonna put my right behind my left in a T. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push now off of my left outside edge. So the foot that is in front is doing the pushing, and I'm gliding onto this foot that's in back. So my left is in front on its outside edge, my right foot is behind in a T, and I'm gonna push onto that right foot. Okay, so I just want you to practice that motion on its own because it is a little bit awkward. So we're in our T, we have our knees bent, our hips under, our core engaged, strong arms, get onto that outside edge with your front foot. For me right now, it's my left. I'm gonna bend and push off the center of that foot. Okay, so I'm not pushing off the toe. No toe pushes in figure skating, not pushing off the heel, pushing right through the center of that foot. And then once it's pushed, I want to engage my whole leg so my leg is pointed and strong in front. You wanna make those quads pop out, get your knee really engaged, but I'm still bent on my behind leg. So that's my right leg. So we have our T position in ballet class. We're going to push, point that front leg, but keep the back leg bent. You can see that it's in a soft knee bend. My hips are under and my core is still engaged. Okay, so we're gonna practice that on both feet a number of times. We're gonna try it on the other foot. So now I have my right foot in front. That means my right is gonna be my pushing foot. My left is in a T position behind, okay? I have those knees bent, my hips tucked under, core engaged, strong hands, and we're going to push off of that front foot, 
Okay, and we have that knee nice and strong, your pointed front foot, soft knee bend on the back foot. So I want you to practice that pushing a bunch of times. Get really comfortable with it. Once you're comfortable with that push, it's so much simpler to put a proper backward cross stroke together. So now that we've had those two exercises, the step behinds and those pushes off that front foot, we're going to try to put together a proper backward cross stroke. So we're going to do all of this on our outside edges. So we're going to start with whichever foot you want. We're going to get into that T position we just practiced. Okay. We're going to push off of the front outside edge. So for me right now, that's my right leg. My left leg is behind and it's slightly on its outside edge already. So it's prepped. Okay. You don't want to be having that foot flat. On two edges, you don't want it on its inside edge, so get that left foot, the back one, on its outside edge, leaning towards that little toe. So we're gonna push, okay, and that's gonna put me on my outside edge. I'm gonna bring my foot behind into that T position and push again. Bring my foot behind, T position. So you're bringing it around almost like you're going to do a pivot, okay? So you're bringing your foot, tucking it, or bringing it around and tucking it right behind and then flattening it. So that toe pick really shouldn't be making contact. But the way we hook that foot behind like a back outside pivot is similar to what we're going to be doing for these backward cross strokes. All right. So we push nice, strong front leg, bring that foot behind, flatten that foot out and then push again. Bring your leg around, push. Okay, so we want to keep that quad engaged all the way till we bend our knee and then we step on it. Quad engaged, bring it all the way around, step behind. Okay, so we want that front leg looking really strong. We're kind of in a little bit of what my old coach used to call lounge position, where our front leg is really strong, our core is engaged, we're very upright. So this is very pretty backward glide position that my coach used to call a lounge. I always think about that. Okay, so let's try this again with a little bit more speed. So again, we're going to push off that outside edge onto our back outside edge. And every time we're keeping our hips tucked under, our core engaged. All right, so our arms are really nice and still. We have a strong engaged quad and pointed toe on our front leg. Bring it around, step onto our outside edge, and then we're reversing that strong engaged quad pointed toe on the other leg. So we're going, you can put a little bit of a lift and fall, lift and fall. So we're coming up a little bit and bending down, coming up a little bit and bending down. You want that to be subtle. You don't want it to look super bouncy, but once you push, you can stand up a little bit and then sink back down into your cross step, just like we do with the forward ones. All right, so let's practice these again with a little bit more speed. Again, that rise and fall adds a really nice, elegant element to this. If you're just working on it from the beginning, don't worry about it too much. Just try to get that step correct, get the outside edges correct. But once you have this motion down, you can have a little bit of a rise and fall through the cross step. So if we push, we can rise up and then sink down. And that's done with your skating knee. So we go up, sink down. We're low, we rise up, and then sink down. Low, rise up sink down. I'm trying to dramatize it a little bit so you can see that rise and fall, rise and fall, but you do want it to be a little bit more of a smooth rise and fall motion.
skaters, you now have a tutorial for both the backward cross strokes and the forward cross strokes. Make sure you find that, you brush up on both of them. You wanna have both of those skills really strong. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in that section down below. If you would like more tutorials like this one, head on over to my Patreon. I have a link in the description down below. We have new tutorials, power classes, stretching coming up every single week, and you will not want to miss that. So click that Patreon link so you can get access to even more Coach Julia tutorials. All right, skaters, thank you so much for watching. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.